Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 takes us to the 31st of August, last day of the month. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the CFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 for September at the end of the video. I'll get some of that for you in a moment. Just say that first. Video serves our 6 same UK weather forecast. Please like, share and subscribe on all of Today's or both of today's videos. Thank you so much for doing that. Latest cal calendar reveal. We're up to April now. This is our April calendar reveal. Beautiful photo from Adrian. Perkins, thank you so much, Adrian, for sending this through, for, for submitting uh, this picture. And, uh, well, I think that's a beautiful photo, you know, really encompassing the spirit of the month of April. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Adrian, and congratulations to you, my friend. That is our a April 2026 photo. I have another reveal for you tomorrow. Uh, 2026, guys, well, this viewer photography cat photography calendar will be going on sale in september all the detail on that coming up next week right okay well we're gonna start the video with national hurricane center three interest areas a orange extras there a red extras there and then hurricane erin just there so the orange x is disturbance two 40% chance of site cooperation with that one in the next uh, two and seven days. We've also got disturbance one with a 30% chance of site growth formation in the next two days and a 70% chance of site growth formation in the next seven days. That could well become our next trouble storm and or hurricane. And then we've got Hurricane Erin just here giving maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. Clicking on Erin. We can see that uh, we're going to remain as a uh, hurricane over the uh, next couple of days into the weekend. So current position is just there. Uh, by Saturday, I'm going to be going post-tropical as Erin moves out into cooler waters of the North Atlantic. So by the weekend, uh, this storm will be finished, although we will still have uh, low pressure associated with it. And we may get a change in our weather, actually, with that low pressure next week. More about that a little bit later on in the video. Central in temperature is sitting at 18.2, about 2.5 degrees above 61 to 99 average it's provisional to uh, the 19th of August. These are GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles. That's a couple of weeks. Looking at Coventry today, the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Carl. We're starting off around to a little bit below average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They are going to be lifting up as we move into uh, next week, but it's associated with low pressure and then coming back down again as we move into the end of August, beginning of September. Precipitation wise, there's lots of dry weather to come over the next few days, but turning more unsettled as we move on into the end of August and the beginning of September. Some rather large precipitation bites there show that it could be turning quite wet, actually, around the turn of the month. We'll see about that. Temperature anomaly is it's five days to the 26th of August. A little bit below average in the east, a little bit above average in the west. Not a big deviation. 10 to 14 day. Looks like that. So uh, a little bit above average in the, east, uh, in the east, a little bit below average in the west. Bit of a switcheroo uh, there. But again, not a big deviation. Precipitation anomaly next seven days to 28th of August, drier than normal. 10 to 16 day, though, in up to the 6th of September, is going wetter. Right, OK, well, let's have a look at chart data then. Mr. Our latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Sunday. High pressure ridging through the country, bringing a lot of dry weather and that high pressure is still with us into uh, the beginning of next week as well. Gradually the high pressure by the middle of next week is weakening with lower pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. That gets us to midnight on Thursday next week 28th of August. Lower pressure but not convincingly so and it still remains the case that this switch to genuine low pressure is being pushed back I think by the moral output. I think we will still get a breakdown next week but it doesn't look overly convincing there on the UK Met I have to say.
Well, Icon looks like this. Again, high pressure through the uh, weekend into the early part of next week. Gradually weakening by the middle of next week, allowing lower pressure to start moving in. Again, the actual areas of low pressure, though, remain out in the Atlantic. So up to next Thursday, again, it looks a little bit more mo mobile, but not convincingly unsettled up to that point. The KMA looks like this, weakening that ridge through the uh, early part of next week. So by middle next week, low pressure is taking over. KMA uh, looks rather more unsettled, a little bit more convincingly unsettled, perhaps, from around uh, the end of next week onwards. The GFS Big Night Run, uh, again, with that high pressure in control of the bank holiday, weakening mode by the middle part of uh, next week as low pressure comes in. And by the end of next week, the GFS Big Night Run is bringing an actual area of low pressure in. So that does look convincingly unsettled. It takes a couple of days longer to get there, but eventually by the end of next week, we are genuinely unsettled. And at day 10, low pressure moving out into the North Sea, leaving us in a northerly flow. Beyond that, well, further areas of low pressure meandering in from off Atlantic up to the 6th of September, looking quite unsettled there. And the GFS 6 head, almost as much this, weakening that high pressure gradually through next week, but it's not until the end of next week that actual areas of low pressure start moving in from off Atlantic, but we do eventually get there. So uh, by the last weekend of August, Saturday the 30th, we look genuinely cool and unsettled at that point. And then beyond that, into early September, well, the low pressures keep on coming, though uh, rather mix there into the first week of September with Jeff S6. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys love it and get them to subscribe to Thank you so much everyone for doing that. About seven subscribers gets us to 20.5k, so please do a sub and thank you so much everyone for doing that. Okay, GM, again with high pressure over country. 3V bank holiday weekend, keeping it mostly dry into the beginning of next week. Low pressure making its presence felt, uh, particularly to the south, but affecting England and Wales in particular. So, again, the uh, GM looking quite unsettled from about next Wednesday, Thursday onwards up to day 10. And then the ECM rounding it all off again. We have high pressure in control through the early part of next week. Change to lower pressure middle of next week. Then low pressure dominating the weather uh, through the final weekend of uh, August. That's beyond day 10. Further low pressure coming in from off Atlantic through that first five days of September. This is, the, sorry, this is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tepetra.com up to day 10. So lots of dry weather to come, of course, until about the middle of next week. Then some shower rain moving in from off Atlantic. And that starts to turn us increasingly showery then as we reach about day 9 and eight days eight, nine, and ten. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day ten from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 31st of August. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over top of the country. That looks quite unsettled. 14 low pressure over country. 12 with low pressure over country. And 10 with low pressure over country. All options, all roads lead to low pressure at day ten for the uh, end of August. It looks like the end of August will be unsettled. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 5th of September. 15 members of the East Shem on times with low pressure out to the west, high pressure to the east and south. So that's trying to turn a bit more settled and warmer again. We've got 13 with high pressure between Iceland and Norway. Probably going to be some lower pressure through there. We've got 12 again, low pressure just to the west and southwest. And then we've got 11 with low pressure right over the top of the country. So day 10, all roads lead to low pressure. Uh, day 4. 14, probably still a lower pressure influence, although not as, um, you know, not, not as convincingly so, I guess.
Well, we haven't got CFS feature weekly today. Hopefully, they'll be back tomorrow. We are going to show you, though, a CFS for September. So, this is the latest 700 millibar height anomaly idea from a CFS for September. Remember, these charts change daily. And, uh, well, that'll be quite unsettled in September with low pressure uh, over and to the northern country, high pressure away to the southwest. That would uh, uh, lead to like a westerly type month. The temperature anomaly is about average, maybe ever so slightly above, but not a particularly uh, warm or hot September being indicated there. Not much signal for precipitation, but you would have thought a wetter month would be like, especially so for the north and west. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and share everyone for doing about what drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all other videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe to you. Thank you everyone for doing that. Tomorrow we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. As long as the CFS weekly has come back, we'll have Jeremy Friday, and of course I'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.